Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another crypto video and today I'm gonna try keep this short but I honestly think that if you are not at least looking into getting into metaverse crypto you're making a very big mistake. Now please guys understand that I am not saying that this is the only way to be successful in crypto. I am also not saying that this is a guaranteed win. Neither am I saying that meta is a really good thing. All I'm saying is that the, the probability of this sector growing exp exp like uh, I don't even know the right word in English for it, just going crazy in the next couple of months is, is very high. And so if you're missing out, you're missing out. Yeah, long story short. All right, so one of the things we can easily look that up with is going through google trends if we take a little bit of a look i remember covering metaverse for the first time on my channel it was basically at around the time where facebook obviously changed their name and when the rumors were going out about that but you can see what the graph looked like at that point things were popping off i told you guys at that point as well it's going to be a little bit of a downfall before it can ever go higher again and how that was basically working was right now there's a really big hype metaverse crypto all have the same similar sort of chart oh we had a crazy pump a little bit of a fall off because the, the hype is gone a little bit but what i'm telling everybody right now is grab them as while you can uh whilst the facebook meta thing is not the the most major thing in the space just quite yet what i mean with that is right now you can see that metaverse as a term fell down quite rapidly we get a good chance to buy back in right now it's expanding even though on the the meta side of things it's 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 climb it a little bit because there's a lot of news but it's not necessarily that spectacular then again you got to remember at one point or another meta will have this crazy announcement and there's a very high probability that at that point the majority of metaverse cryptos that we are investing in and showcasing in this video will have another pump of at least a couple hundred percent that announcement could be at any one of these points the majority of the announcements they make are already just mind-boggling and again meta will take time to get to a certain point there might be a scandal here and there who knows but we all know, I think, that metaverse and this digital world will keep expanding. There's almost no way about it. And once more, just want to quickly make sure I'm not saying it's a good thing. I think it's very important for people to go outside and get in touch with nature. But it's, it is happening. It's, uh, I don't think we can, anybody can really deny that. So then one of the most important things is looking into what coins to get into. And so straight at the bat here, I'm going to be completely real with you guys. You already know I don't do BS on this channel. I'm giving you my honest and raw opinion. The honest and raw opinion right now is there's actually really a difficult um, T. There's a really big difficulty in picking any one coin that's really going to pop off. And so whenever I make a list here, all I'm basing it on is thinking, hmm, these are coins which have a, a little bit higher than other potential because of some specific factor, which you'll see. But generally speaking, I hold quite a lot of these because they are very similar in what they do. The teams don't really matter that much because people don't know about them. It's really just about which ones are going to get the main traction. And so if we're looking from a top to bottom perspective, Decentraland Mana and Sand, I think are the safest options for guaranteed gains. Once more, not officially guaranteed, but for, for a high probability of gains. And that's because they are the most adopted. Axie Infinity right now has a way higher price and way higher adoption basically because you get a very high staking percentage for having those tokens so that's a little bit of a riskier one mana and sand are just really high up there have partnerships with really good companies we've seen and talked about that before and a lot of the very established companies have bought land on there too so they're already in a stage of you can almost not go wrong with them which is why i have them as number one and number two in the sense of get into these while you still can it's it's almost get, you don't know which of these two is going to do better because they almost do the same thing. They're a new digital world. They are both pretty new. Sandbox a lot newer than Mana. Uh, they both have really established partnerships. Mana has the first mover advantage. Sand is a little bit newer, but has a little bit better partnerships. You can say that Sand is going to outdo them because they're newer, because they have don't they don't have better technology necessarily either, because they have different partnerships or so. But then we can also say, well, Mana was first, so they were going to do better. Point being. Hard to say which one would win over the other over a longer term, but they're both really good, have a very quick mover advantage still, and I think we'll do well. A little honorable mention in that sense is the different sort of coins, more so along the lines of Theta and Engine. This is like my number two, right? At number one, I'm going to say a mana slash sand. We don't know which of these two. They're, they're even, 50-50. A second type of coin would be a Theta or an Engine. 
which are mostly not the actual world itself, but the infrastructure builders. So in the same sense that we, for example, invest in NVIDIA stock or Meta stock, in this case here, what these guys are doing are, look at this, Theta is a blockchain powered network, uh, purpose built for video streaming, launched 2019. The Theta mainnet operates as a decentralized network in which users share bandwidth and competing resources on a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, basis. We can understand exactly why that would be smart. Some of the guys that are working on that are really high up in this, I guess, in this media world as well. An engine in that sense. Once more, I'm putting up two because you don't know which is going to get some crazy traction. What they do is um, a company that provides an ecosystem of interconnected blockchain-based gaming products. Engine's flagship offering is the Engine Network, a social gaming platform through which users can create websites and clans, chat, and host virtual item stores. So it's like an all-in-one solution, basically. Once more, you don't know how crazy Engine specifically is going to pop off because right now we're at the building blocks and the, the real starts of Metaverse. But I think both of them are worth to have in our portfolio because there's a very high probability that they'll pop off. So those are my couple of coins here where I'm like, eh, it's hard to say which one, but there's a very high probability that if you have them in your portfolio, they'll do well. Then we're going to move over into the coins, which are really around the corner or something along those lines, which I think everybody should really do their due diligence on and look into. By the way, look at those prices. Huh? It's going to be juicy in the next couple of months. So number one, coin number one, for sure, is going to be the coin on the launch pad, which is called, let's check it out here. GGM play to earn iteration of the legendary monster galaxy game guys if you have a Bybit account check this out right now if you don't have a Bybit account don't worry make one right now with the link down below there's some crazy bonuses to it but also if you're making yourself an account right now I can actually give you a juicy entry into one of my giveaways as I promised y'all that everybody who makes an account through Bybit should get a little bonus uh, so Everybody that makes an account right now, I'm going to I'm gonna give away a couple hundred, a couple thousand bucks to a couple of y'all, depending on how many people sign up. Make sure you check out the link down below. You have to, of course, make one trade so I can actually see your account number, but I'll, I'll get that fixed. So a couple of y'all will see a couple tens of dollars, I think 70 bucks a person in your account in a couple of days from now. So that's a little fun announcement that I should make there as well. I think I'm going to do $1,500 in total. So maybe give 20 people uh, 75 bucks or something like that. It could be fun. Having said that, this coin, do you really need to know what it does? No. Is it most likely going to do really well once it launches in two days? Yes. Check Bybit out. Check it out. Link is down below for that. I, I might even have to make a dedicated video on how to get into this token because, oh boy, oh boy, is it worth your time? Is it worth your effort and money? Most of the time. It, it just I, I've covered every single listing on here and every single one of them did really well. So it's definitely worth it to look into, specifically all the metaverse ones that usually do really, really well. So I'm telling you all, check it out. I probably can't get that crazy of an amount either because I don't have that much BIT right now. Or I'm, I'm not going to get the full amount, but just read into it for a little bit. Just go learn more and read. That's the best thing you can do. Then before we move on, guys, make sure you press that like button if you enjoy the videos that I make or you like the fact that I'm telling you how these things really work. It's not a fake type of video where I'm trying to get you to buy into a really stupid small coin. No, I'm telling you honestly what's going to make money if you ask me. Uh, one of the things which I think is going to do really well is the launch my NFT over on VLaunch. So VLaunch is a launch pad built by MM Crypto and Crypto Mo, very big YouTubers. And if you check it out, launch my NFT, what it's going to do is basically become this entire nft marketplace i'm telling you right now guys i know these people who are building this partially not too well but i know them and i know they don't mess around if you can get into this guys i'm telling you already there's a very high probability that it's a really good idea short term we're talking about long term it's certainly a good idea but short term i think it's also going to be a great 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 investment Look into whatever way, shape, or reform that you can get into this. I think, however, that because of the way they've done it, you actually need to have yourself VLaunch tokens to uh, buy into this. Or buy it that you need BIT tokens to get into it. But just read up for yourself. It might very much be worth it. I don't think these guys actually have KYC on their platform for uh, launches like this. But read into it. Check it out. It could very well be worth it. And then last but not least, guys, Magic Craft. So this is also founded by one of the people I know from Dubai. You guys have seen me talk about it before. James Stockler, he's the founder. And once more, I know these guys don't mess around. These guys don't joke around. This project is most likely going to become bigger and bigger and bigger by the week. So the plan is to have it like be like a World of Warcraft type of game. Just make it really, really broad. They're putting a lot of money into this. They have a lot of freaking developers, a lot of 3D modeling guys. And you can check out those trailers if you want for yourself. They're doing their best. And I know it uh, because I speak to them. 
one of the things I'm telling you all as well is it's it's worth it to look into it and potentially get some coins because you don't know which NFT project is going to be the next one to pop off. I'm not in here, unfortunately. I'm not an advisor or anything like that, so I'm not going to get some free tokens, unfortunately. But I'm telling you, this is something to really look into as well because it could really pop off. Specifically, if you check it out from here, the more people that will join the game, you have all these guys on board who are advisors, Moon Carl, Chris from Crypto Slavic. These guys have hundreds of thousands, if not millions of followers. There's a very good chance they can push it to the moon. <laughs> to the moon. Um, if, if the game actually guts out there into the real world. So I'm just telling you all, check into it. Do your due diligence, of course, for yourself. But these are the things that I think are really worth it to get into. And you can decide for yourself if you think it is worth it or not. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below what other metaverse coin is good. One honorable mention, of course, is Gala. Um, but I'm just going to put up a couple of coins that I also have, right? From this list, I have Meta Hero. I am pretty big on Meta Hero. I have a good chunk. I have Alluvium. I don't really know too much about why. I just bought it because you guys were telling me about it in the comment section. That's something how to do. I have a lot of Bloctopia. I'm really big on my holdings as well. I have Starlink. Let's see again. I have Mines because I got it for uh, really cheap on Binance. Star Atlas, I have a good chunk of as well. Veracity, I have, but I'm, I can't really say it's also my own choice. You, you guys kind of forced me into it because of the comment section. You guys also made me buy some Red Fox, um, which was an interesting choice if you look at the chart. I don't have too much of it, though, so I can't say I'm a big holder, but I have some. Let's quickly see if I have any other thing. Um, mm, news Crypto I have. I didn't know it was a Metaverse coin, but I have some of that, actually. It's been from a long time ago. I might not have much money in that, though. Maybe a couple hundred bucks, maybe a couple thousand bucks. I don't remember. It's somewhere in a crazy wallet somewhere down below. I talked about it in a video years ago, I think, so I'm just remembering that now. Mm, and then from this list, I don't really see anything else which i have a a chunk in so if that changes i'll also let you all know but for right now i'm just checking through no i don't really have any of these other tokens i didn't i don't really know about the majority of these tokens either if i do buy some you already oh i really metaverse i have of course i'll, I'll let you know um but yeah for right now it's also a little bit difficult because it's like we have play to earn slash metaverse slash NFT related type of coins. They, they, they can sometimes get a little bit difficult about what exactly you put in your little bracket or basket because um, there's so many coins which, for example, are DeFi, but they more so revolve around the entire realm. Uh, it's hard to explain what I mean. Let's quickly take a look, for example, at Gala and what they do. We covered this a couple of times on the channel already. So Gala Games is even what the crypto is called, right? It's a gaming type of crypto. However, I did not see it in the list just now. Uh, it's also one thing that's really highly appreciated. So something you might want to look into as well. I have that uh, good chunk of that as well. All right, that was it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. See you guys again in another crypto video. And uh, yeah, adios amigos. Make sure you subscribe to the channel.